Good morning, all traders, and welcome to the VTC Vector Traders Consortium. This is Jeff Killian, and time is 8.41 a.m. on 6.30-2021. Today, I want to do a walkthrough <clears throat> of a trade that's still in progress with a profit <clears throat> of $1,130 right now, trading seven contracts short on YM near contract month, <clears throat> excuse me, 921. The interesting part about this trade and running through this uh, brief dissection is that we have major upside resistance from the close of the down close at 628, indicated by a major daily level in yellow. This one here at 34,164. And then above that, again, right above that at the close of 629, from the close of the down close there. And we have a 15 minute POC where the earlier sell-off started here and then above that we have the close of the down close and the incremental level here and above that uh, the session opened so price has tapped out here once obviously the sell volume came in drive the prices down this time prices are a little bit higher than here and obviously another blow off under lesser volume conditions but in this particular juncture a major negative divergence as compared to the prices on the SMI indicator from here to here versus a price-based indicator saying there are higher probabilities of sell-off in play. Now, this is only one, one example of um, what we're talking about here. So let's take a look at some of the other indicators that we follow here. Uh, for example, we can't get into them all, but looking at the fives here for a minute, looking at the FMI and the CMF, two different time frames on two smart money tracking indicators. If we look at the prices here, again, you're a double top at this point. We clearly, clearly have a lot of pent up selling pressure here because of the difference in the levels and the prices as compared to the indicator of where these prices should be going in the near term future. So again, this is obviously pent up selling pressure that has not yet taken place in the form of future directional price movement. Price is slightly up near a double top above that, but the indicator revealing what's really going on behind the prices here. So there's one negative divergence here as compared to the prices and another one here. Now, when we're looking at a real-time trade setup, it really doesn't get much better than this when we're looking at the relative comparison of the fives, right, to the prices. This is a five-minute time frame again. Again, YM near contract month 921. Okay. Now, outside of that, <clears throat> excuse me, let's look at one of our proprietary configured indicators here, the VTC VMA with the level two up here. In this case, one minute price is here, 60 second look back. And we're looking at the entire amount of contracts that are traded at the bid ask or any particular time frame that has come through. Mm -hmm. Other than this is not included in this indicator. Again, major difference in what the indicator is saying as compared to the prices here. Divergence analysis by far and wide is one of the most important critical elements of successful high probability uh, trading. Now these are trades that come through on a regular basis, but we need to be very selective about what we're taking here, people. So understand that the positional advantage is your greatest um, ally in trading in real time. Again, we don't have to prove to the market that we need to trade it on any given setup on any given day. We need to wait for these prices to come to us and prove to us that once again, that they're worthy of um, you know, all our hard work and what we're putting together here. Now, this is a configuration, a custom configuration on the gum indicator. Here, clearly, the blow of volume comes in at this point, and here is a higher sell-off area here prices move down and all the way down to this point here so raw contracts are clearly being sold off at this point after the blow-off takes place one more negative divergence as compared to the prices here 
and the cell should take place. At this juncture, one would not want to let prices trade above the low of the down close here because of the possibility of giving back too much money. So as a protective stop measure, an accrued profit after a high probability trade has taken place, trading only seven contracts short, and this particular still overnight session move, we have successfully, successfully traded YM near contract month this morning in real time as it happened uh, profitably. So let's take a look at this here and look at the final area where one would want to consider getting out, right? Before you have a chance to give too much back and just lock in close to a thousand and, and that will be it. And there it is again, not bad for a short period of time's work. Again, short just below the daily level as the blow-off takes place under major multiple negative divergences in multiple time frames, excuse me, and getting through the preferred entry right here just below, minus two from the close of the down close of 628. Our pleasure to present to the world today, Jeff Killian for Vector Traders Consortium, for any serious inquiries from serious students of the market. Uh, you can contact us through the website. Be careful out there today. Or order fills.